So a lot of people ask me how my edges are so fast. And so in this video I will show you how I will do my edges, my thought process and what I see when. So it all starts with Hideo, which a lot of people nowadays do. Um, it all starts with the last cross edge because while doing that we already inspect for the edge afterwards. So we already see this piece. And yeah, so we flip over. We already see this white and these white pieces. So we insert them, in this case this one in the back. And now we already see uh, the next edge which will be blue and red. Because here's a piece which will be connected right here. And here's a piece. And there are the rest. So we insert them to the back. Right here. Edge is done. And now, which is really good because this orientation will be correct. If we, because we have to flip um, this centerpiece or middle edge piece, we can insert that one uh, in a way that it will also be flipped. So in this case we will be holding it on the up right edge and then insert that cross edge so this will also be inserted. And the edge afterwards will be green and yellow because here are two pieces, here's a piece and here's a piece. And while slicing we see this piece which is uh, the last one. And uh, because all green and um, yellow edge pieces are um, here on the same orientation, we connect the blue and red edge to the front right, so we can pair them up, and then we do uh, blue and orange because here's a piece, here's a piece, and here are two pieces. So we insert, and the last piece appeared, and the edge afterwards will be red and yellow because here are two pieces, here's a piece, and here's a piece. So we only search for one more, and now I found it, it's up here. So in this case, if we just flip this edge like that, this will also be flipped. So we have to put it somewhere else, not in the up front, because like that. Now we can basically, we can insert this into the back, or we can also insert it into the front. If we just do a U-move, like so, then we insert. And now I noticed, yes, I also don't do everything uh, perfectly, because now I just noticed if we had inserted the two pieces into the back, the um, the red and yellow piece would be oriented correctly. We can fix that, because now this is not oriented correctly to this. So we insert the red and, um, red and yellow edge pieces to the front left, and now we can uh, basically flip that edge while inserting that one if we just cancel into a size slice and connect the edge afterwards will be green and yellow because here is red and yellow which will connect with no I'm dumb <laughs> right here is Red and yellow, not right here in the middle. So we already know that that is not going to be the last or the middle wing, I think, for orange and yellow. So it can only be something else. Yeah, and I, I also slice with a big white move so I can gain more information. So now we can see here are the other edge pieces. For green and yellow, 
So we keep that in our mind for, for what comes next, which will be last for edges. So we take that one back out and flip that one. So like this. And now we insert and we take that one back out because this has the blue and yellow piece for that well that one. Oops. Like so. And now we in my idea I would solve the middle pieces first. In this case like so, but then we flip slice up slice with 5 feet wide, then we do that one, and then just a non parity case, which is really cool, and then 2 or 3 which I am not that good at, yeah. So now the next example, the cross edge pieces are, uh, in this case, really close together so I can see everything right here, here and here. So I just do an M size in this case, water it, insert that one and uh, notice the uh, blue and yellow pieces right here, which is really cool. Because we can insert that afterwards and then we have two options for the edge piece after the blue and yellow one which will be red and green or green and orange because here is also a piece so we have four pieces and three pieces right here. So anyways we insert then connect. In this case I haven't seen any more of the green and white pieces, so I will do green and orange, then we rotate, and the orange piece will be here in the back, which is probably that one, yes, correct, and now we can do red and green, oops, with some leaf moves and then uh, red and yellow because there were already three pieces insert into the back now here in the back left is the last piece and while slicing into its correct form we notice um, all women slicing centers back to their soft state we notice blue and orange, but that can also change because after slicing back there could be some other really easy cases, which they are not in this case. So we will take this edge out because the blue and orange piece are right here, here and here, so we don't need this edge because we will do a cycle and slice with slices in combination. So notice um, that this piece is correct with that one, and this piece is correct with that, correct with that one and the middle piece. So we will slice like that and flip like so to create a correct edge, and replace it with the edge we took out. And while doing that, we saw that these pieces matched up, so we can take them out again. And just pair them up like normal. And in this case, we can easily um, we can do a How's it called? <laughs> okay, no, we, don't, we won't do that because I don't know the last edge algorithm. 
if we just flip these mid mid edges, we have this last edge algorithm, which I don't know, and I need to learn. <laughs> so we will just do a few slices, slices two, and then cancel into. The parity arc, which is not that efficient, but I don't know the last edge algorithm for that case. So now we do an example with reduction. And like with Yao, it's the last eight edges begin in your head before they begin. With in this case with reduction, the last two centers, we see green and orange right here, which is really cool. Because there's all, there are already four pieces, so we pre basically preserve the pieces. So we have an easy time afterwards. Um, now we notice the last piece, which is here. So we flip like so. Then we do rotation because I hate left inserts. We could also do um, the back inside like that, but yeah, anyways. <laughs> then we do uh, green and yellow because here's a piece, here's a piece, here's a piece, and here are two pieces. So we connect them like so, and then we do uh, blue and orange because here here's a piece, and here are two pieces. We could also do green and yellow, but, I mean green and white, but we do blue and orange. Now we look over, right here is nothing, and right here also not, because uh, we already looked at stickers before and right here. So we flip, we notice the blue and orange piece are right here and right here. So we can also plan our next edge, when we insert that into the back, it will be oriented correctly with that. that blue and red piece will be oriented correctly with that blue and red piece and here are blue and red pieces so so that's really obvious uh, really obvious um, choice for the edge after the blue and orange one so we insert then connect this piece like so so we don't have to rotate then just connect here right is the other one because we saw it earlier then we'll probably do uh, green and white because here's a piece here's a piece and here's a piece we could also do um, like uh, red and white because here's a piece here's a piece and here's a piece but uh, green and white struck my eye first because when we flip that edge, this will also be flipped, and in the correct orientation for that one. And we can back insert that piece, so yeah, like so. Now we notice that green and yellow piece, but we also notice the red and, I mean green and white piece, but we also notice the red and white pieces right here which we already have five of them, instead of four with green and white, so we just change what we wanted to do. Now we put that one into the front as well, because when you flip that edge, uh, we can back insert that one with white, like so, and the green and white middle edge piece will be in the correct orientation for that one. Now we don't notice any more green and white pieces, so ends right here. The green and white stickers, I mean, they are green and red stickers, so we look right here, which is also green and red sticker. So we also change what we, what we wanted to do and continue with the green and red edge, like so. Flip and insert. Now here's the green and white edge and afterwards we will do uh, either the 
blue and white one because here's a piece here's a piece and here's a piece or the orange and white one here's a piece here's a piece and here's a piece or the blue and yellow one here here here's a piece but it doesn't really matter because when you back insert we will gain more information about other pieces right here so in this case we will do blue and yellow like so we slice this first right here so when we insert this these pieces we can flip and slice to pair up the blue and yellow edge completely now in this case uh, if i forgot to say it but while slicing back we saw the orange and yellow edge right here are two pieces Here's a piece, and here are two pieces, so we take the left back one, left back side out, then we slice, flip, and slice to connect that edge piece with the one in the front, and then just slice back. Now we notice uh, there are four pieces for um, red and yellow, but also the middle edge pieces for blue and white are in the front. So now we look um, if it's actually easier to do uh, white and yellow or blue and white. I mean red and yellow <laughs> or blue and white. So we look at the stickers in the back. When, so we can see here's a red sticker and there are no other red pieces. That we need to look for so we know that that is the correct one for that edge so we will continue with two sides slices to solve the yellow and red edge like so and then another slice slice now we do an r2 and notice um this will we can uh and notice that we can uh, solve the outer edge pieces and then do a really easy parity algorithm and yeah that is redux edges i hope that would help you um yes so that's basically it also while doing your last four edges uh, you should look for the cross that you're gonna do